Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a new Mayabo account, create the chart of accounts and the needful things that you need to do just to start off. Um, so first you'd go to Mayabo and click on plans and pricing so you could see all the different products that they offer. Um, you can choose whichever one that suits for your business and also they've got a, a new option here as payroll so in case if you wanted to process payrolls up to four employees you can use this feature and uh, you can report all the wages super taxes through the software to the ATO so for just nine dollars a month okay, which is a fair deal and going on to accounting I'm just gonna sign up now for you and I'm gonna take you through the entire steps I'm just gonna go here try free for 14 days um, the email address okay first name Business name as TK Financial Solutions. I've read the terms and conditions. If you want, you can just go and read it. Sign in and create subscription. Okay, it's asking for a password. So It is so easy to set up and then you can put the card details. I'm going to put my card details for this video purpose. I'm just going to pause this. Yes, I've added the card details and I have proceeded and this is what you get. And yep, successful. Access your software now. It is pretty easy to set up. All you just need to do is put all your information. I'm just going to direct you. Do exactly as I address and you'll be good. There's no rocket science. You don't need an accounting degree. You don't need a bookkeeping course. Nothing. So I've got everything here. So put the name and ABN if you have one. So I'm just going to put mine. 2051989. Yeah okay great so what type of business is this so you can go on company partnership individual however you like so i'm gonna go as a company next specific industry is your business in so whichever one that you suits best for you so i'm just gonna go here as construction just type in construction house construction does the business have employees let's just say yes so in case if you are using another software zero quickbooks or reckon or any other softwares so you can just hit yes and then import all the transactions it's just a simple step but i'm not going to show now i'll have another video on that if you have or leave a com just put a comment down below or contact me so i'll help you out to do that process so just hit next tell us about yourself owner how much experience do you have with accounting software? None, very little. So here you select as managing expenses. Hit next. Okay, so this one here is um, a 45 minutes a session that my is trying to give you. Not interested. That's why I'm here for. Right so it's that easy your software is ready now so all you need to do is so click on the settings icon on the top go on to business settings you will have a serial number put the trading name if it has a different trading apn ac and client code is is default don't worry about it and put the business industry contact details and this is the financial year so which financial year you're starting so now let's say you're starting uh, today as at the 19th of April 2025 so the the financial year that you are in is 2025 financial year so that's 24 25 so you'll have to choose 2025 that starts on 1st of July 24 to 30th of June and 
yeah this one if you if you want you can lock dates so don't worry about it not really necessary and then save the details once you fill up all that and then go on to the next one the GST settings depends if you're registered or not so if you're if you are registered just say yes and the reporting frequency most businesses are quarterly so just say quarterly save that go on to preferences and this is the email address that the all the reports or, or maybe employee pay slips or invoices that you're sending and if the customers want to reply um, so this is the if, if they do reply this is you will have to put up an email address here so this is where you will get all the replies so use whichever one that you have so I'm gonna go with the one that we use yeah that's done and then the brand settings and then go and upload your logo if you have and save it so that's the first step we're not done yet so go on to income allocations this is nothing just say what type of entity it is and then you say yes and go on to sales this is where the invoice comes into picture so field layout is services so, um it's 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 really hard if for a small and medium businesses if you're selling products I, I still call it as services and then start selling all the stuff and not worry about the inventory part on my own. so if you are someone who has stocks and you want to record inventories and all of that stuff i have a separate video on my channel so you can go on that it's a pretty lengthy one for now for the time being i'm trying to keep it very simple and easy for for beginners to understand so just keep it as sales services and go on to templates so this is the standard templates that uh, myob has so you can design it however you like uh, the colors and the content yeah so which details you wanted to show which one to not and you can customize it uh, according to your business needs so customize that and then the payments if somebody is getting myob they should uh, definitely do this because there's no point of getting this without having sending invoices without having the link to make payments on the invoice so I believe uh, anyone who has uh, online payments verified and has it on on an invoice it makes it so easy for the customers to make payments so I, currently I, as I did on my previous video I showed you all the details how to get the verification done so that's still in progress generally it takes about one to three business days and you can if you haven't done that you can just there will be an option here you can click there and then do the verification to verify your business so you're gonna put your ABN and all the details and start verification and com the owner and start verification okay so you get here yeah so so my ABN so these are the names that I have listed on my ABN so I'm just gonna select this one industry whichever one that you want you can select the industry you want so I'm gonna go with this and the address um, you can put the address in I'm going with my right and the mobile number so and the website or social media anything that you have and then save on save and continue and cash flow estimates annual turnover let's just say less than 500,000 average invoice value um, not really necessary to, to go with the correct figure just go with any business takes deposit before providing goods and services no I mean up to you um, what sort of business you're in save and continue and you just put the bank details so where this is when this is the bank the customers will make payments right okay so once you set up the whole thing up save and continue and start identity check start identity okay so you need to put all your details and get this one verified so yes now that i have verified my identity verification so that's completed 
so the next step is save and continue so go here check all the details if that's correct cash flow estimates what we've put this is another review and business owners is myself confirm and submit okay so successful so now that we have made verifications to receive payments and, and if you want direct deposits you can put your bank details there p mails so customers can even allow payments by email and up to your business needs how, how do you want to set up the payment terms when it when does it when the payment the invoices gets due and save it and go on to the next one sales numbering so it is it's totally up to you if you want to use a default uh, um, another number so if you want to get rid of all these zeros if that doesn't look proper to you then you can go on with you can just get rid of some of the zeros so it looks a little pleasant and notes to customer again that's completely up to your business email defaults as we set up earlier this is where the reply gets to and this is how your this is the email how it will look when you send a, an invoice to a customer and different different steps okay not very not, nothing much to change even reminders oh this is important so you go here and set the reminders how your business is wants to um, so the, there's, you can set up up to five reminders. So this is three days before due date, one day after the due date, and 14 days after the due date. So you can select how you like, send to all customers, or you wanted to send it to specific customers. And uh, yeah, you can choose that. And there's another section here called unpa unpaid invoice summary. So every third day of each month, so let's say uh, customer A gets 10 invoices and he has paid for five and there's five more so you for each invoices you you send emails is it's not it's not very neat so you get the customer will get on the third of each month saying okay there's five invoices that's unpaid this is the summary of it please make payment something like that and that's about sending for the my you don't have to worry about it don't even bother about getting started so that's about uh, getting the sales settings and purchase settings is also pretty much the same. Don't stress much. Uh, go on with the default remittance. So these are all the supplier payments that you make that you have a remittance that having an evidence like you have made payment from payment and then the software upload gives you um, a document. So purchase, no worry. If you have employees, you can select on that. And just I'm just gonna show you in brief um, how many hours the employees work and when um, so this is not necessary WPN so when you set up the a, uh, when you set up and link the ATO then you you will have this number there for you and a default super innovation you can have any super innovation as a default generally you don't need to worry about it so each employees have their own uh, super accounts so when you do set up and if you set up employees on the, on on here on my then you will have to put their own unique preferred uh, super innovation so um, again it's not really necessary so I'm up to you if you want to use timesheets or uh, just you do your own timesheet so you know um, employee Adam worked 40 hours a week so you put 40 or 30 or however the hours he has worked and then automatically um, you can generate pay runs so that's it I have another video separately for that uh, always uh, choose employee onboarding yes so what this is is um, so um, again not really necessary to cover on this one but I'll just brief it so if you have an employee onboarding you will need all their TFN uh, super innovation details um, ABN name address and so and so so this is like employee self onboarding so all you have to do is get their email address send it to them and they will have all the details for you because as a legal requirement you need uh, the sign declaration and all of that stuff so this one helps you stay compliant so I'll show you that separately and all of these are pretty much related to payroll um, and then report settings uh, how this is also how you want your accounting things to set up so keep it as keep it accrual that's the best 
and uh, GST reporting method if you are cash or accrual however you like and then reporting what thing and then the, the pay as you go withholding reporting year in adjustments keep these all as a uh, default in brackets the negative ones keep them in bracket it's so easy for you to read uh, reports when you have in brackets instead of the minus in the front that's that's my preference um, however you like it and other preferences just just keep it all as default no need to worry about anything else and yeah that's all about setting up all the stuff here and then once the the online payments thing the invoice online payment thing get verified um, while while that is in verification progress um, what I recommend is going select the banking and get your bank um, bank linked banking hub and connect to a bank and whichever the bank you want it is it's all prompts so just say bank account and which it depends on which bank you are so we'll just assume we're with Commonwealth so CBA so there's two ways you can set up this uh, either through online banking so this is like you select this and they will uh, my will generate a, a reference code then you will have to log into your online banking and then put that reference number there and then within few days your bank and the software will get automated and that's one way and there's another way it takes about not doesn't take two weeks it, it, I think they both they both take the same time frame um, so here if you you just need to put the BSB and the account number and the name and you have to confirm select on next and within three four days or generally it takes about two days and then your bank will be finalized so that's all about setting up guys it's that simple and it's no rocket science or anything like that and then um, once the bank and the the online payment through invoices gets verified I'll show you how to set up the chart of accounts that's another important key ball um, that's also very easy I'll show you how to set up that from top to bottom step by step and then it's easy and then you're on on the platform so all you need to do is just allocate transaction generate reports when it's uh, GST time you will have to generate the GST or if you want to connect the ATU to the software and then you can just with one click of a button lodge through that uh, it's that simple do not complicate bookkeeping and accounting with something really hard to do just on my next video I, I'm gonna show you how to do the chart of accounts and the other needful stuff and yeah thank you for uh, having the patience to come to the come this far so if you have come this far listening you're you're almost there just tap on your back you'll see I'll see you on the next video